Hi, I'm Jeeva. And thank you for watching this presentation on my GRE online training. I have been training students for GRE verbal and analytical section since the last 20 years. Students have attained excellent scores by practicing and implementing the strategies I've taught in my classes. With the intention of reaching a wider audience, I have compiled a set of my classroom lectures. These lectures are exactly what I do in classroom in order to get the optimum scores from my students. I'm hoping test takers globally will find my online lectures useful in enhancing the test taking abilities and maximizing their scores. My lectures are a compilation of both theory classes and practice exercises. Students have found the analytical writing section on GRE to be most challenging. I have taken great pains in my analytical writing classes to make this section as painless as possible for the student. The analytical writing section consists of issue and argument tasks, which I have dealt exhaustively in my lectures. I have laid the foundation for critical reasoning, which is the basis for writing both the essays. A thorough analysis of argument and issue topics, along with a very simple and workable template to write the essays, make my lectures on analytical writing both effective and practical for students. Following my techniques, I guarantee students can get a respectable score in the section. The verbal reasoning section on GRE today has become more of a logic-based test than merely a test on vocabulary. Keeping this in mind, my lectures concentrate on building reasoning, critical reasoning, and vocabulary skills. These skills will help students to optimize their scores on verbal reasoning. Techniques to improve critical reading are taught in both reading comprehension and in sentence and paragraph completion questions. Every practice exercise is a combination of logical reading and vocabulary building sessions. These lectures can help a student learn a large number of GRE high-frequency vocabulary. How to interpret the information given in the passages, how to add up the clues to get the right answer, what techniques to use in order to save time, are some of the skill sets taught in these lectures of mine. I hope students who are not able to reach me in my class will find my online lectures equally useful to enhance their scores. I wish each and every student of mine all the best and hope that success crowns your endeavors. Thank you. These are high frequency GRE words and you can do these, these exercises that I'm doing for vocabulary by themselves and pick up these words because they'll help you in any other questions that come on the GRE. When you use a hundred words in the place of ten words, your speech can be said to be prolix, verbose or wordy. Where you have to say something in ten words, you end up saying it in three words, your speech is laconic. It is terse, pithy, concise, succinct, short and to the point. Now attributes of a person who is taciturn might be that his speech can be laconic. A person who is known for his locacity, loquacious, his speech might be many times prolix, verbose or wordy because he is prone to be a chatterbox. So a person who is mendacious is therefore deceitful and dishonest. People who are mendacious, for example, we talk about a mendacious businessman. A mendacious businessman is many times known for his duplicity. So when you want to get information, when you want to generalize, that must be appropriate or applicable to the situation. You cannot take it for granted what is working there will be applicable in some other situation. So hasty generalization is a common error. The second is what I call as a false analogy. Therefore, unless and until the argument gives us more factual information about whether Nature Store has really done some good marketing in this town, whether the residents are willing to spend more money for health conscious foods, the argument would not be 
logical nor convincing in stating that the franchisee, which is going to be nature's waste franchisee, which is going to open a store in Plainsville, is going to be profitable. Then the body of the essay, instead of dividing it into two broad components, because here you have equal reasons for agreeing and equal reasons for disagreeing. In the writing of this type of essay, the body must be more focused on your opinion. So therefore, I would agree with the statement to a large extent, discuss all the reasons for doing it by doing what, by giving what? examples, studying various cities, looking at the different aspects of the city that indicate such certain major characteristic of that particular society of people living in that city. And therefore using this as an example for putting forward my opinion. So let's once again summarize what we have learned so far. The sentence equivalence text completion questions require us to learn to read critically. The intention is to use our reasoning to be able to pinpoint the information, gather the information from the questions and go for the correct word. So the skills that are needed are your reading, reasoning and vocabulary skills. Comparatively, he says, few rock musicians are willing to laugh at themselves. This is describing the rock musicians. What is this willingness to laugh your, at yourself? We have looked at it as being humble and modest. And there you see you immediately catch option F, which is humility. Humility is, a, is, a, is an expression of being humble. So although a hint of humility can boost sales of video clips very nicely, makes perfect sense. But our job is not done. We need to select one more answer so very perfectly with our context so comparatively few rock musicians are willing to laugh at themselves although a hint of a self-deprecation f humility can boost sales of video clips very nicely these are called as deductive arguments deductive arguments have only two components which is what i gave you the c plus the P. What is the C plus the P? The claim or conclusion plus the premises. The arguments that come on critical reasoning, on GRE analytical writing, as well as many times in their short passages are not so simple. The arguments that you get on GRE are mostly what we call as inductive. B is a very generalized statement. A is more specific to this situation. If the Kawonga lines that have been raised in captivity and were not taught by their parents to indulge in this aggressive play, when you release them in the wild, they're not able to hunt. It proves conclusively because they did not do that. They did not get that training in their childhood. They are not able to hunt. That So the difficulty level of a reading comprehension passage is not decided by the passage. And what is it decided? On the questions. Sometimes you read a passage, it looks very tough. But when you read the question, it's so easy. Sometimes a passage itself is very easy to interpret, but the questions make it very, very difficult. So what makes the, the reading comprehension easy or difficult? Not the passage, but the questions. So the focus for any kind of reading will always be the questions. My name is Manuel Anthony. I'm a proud student of Jeeva's Academy. I would like to thank uh, Jeeva's coaching center for uh, Helping, helping me score such a good score in both uh, the GRE and the IELTS exams. Jeeva ma'am uh, helped me. Uh, she, 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 was, uh, she offered us personal guidance on uh, personal guidance to teach us uh, about the exam and even uh, she, uh, she helped us uh, with good strategies for the, the analytical and the verbal sections and uh, that was very useful in getting a good score.
to share my experience uh, about GRE. Uh, I got a score of 322, 157 in English, uh, 165 in Max. Uh, I would first of all I would like to thank Jiva Madam and with that uh, strategies you can solve any question and also what I was seeing was that the pattern of the question discussed in the class was exactly repeated in the uh, in the exam so that was very uh, useful for me to write the exam actually and the videos of vocabulary in an uh, in a short in a period of 20 minutes you can get uh, uh, what we say you can get around 50 words where you you learn the words and also you can remember the words for longer duration our topics madam has explained me the our topics very strategically like madam has told us some around two to three uh, uh, arguments in the class where we can you can exactly follow the same uh, way uh, in the exam also that was oh, so on the whole i would say that uh, if you go with uh, Jiva's coaching and a bit of uh, ETS official guide, it would be very much sufficient to score a score of more than uh, 320 or 325. I took my GRE uh, coaching from Jiva's and I really like to say that it was extremely helpful. The English taken by Jiva ma'am and they really helped me through this.